The overall goal of this procedure is to quantify fungiform papillae in a consistent manner between scorers and laboratories through the use of a dichotomous key. This is accomplished by first staining the subject's tongue blue with a food dye and adhering a filter paper with a 1 cm cutout to the tongue. The second step is to capture a high-quality close-up image of the subject's tongue. Next, the scorer uses the dichotomous key to examine the candidate papilla's shape, size, color, and elevation. A papilla that is not amorphous is at least 0.5 mm, pinker than the background, and is not recessed is scored as a fungiform papilla. The final step is to confer counts between two scorers and ensure counts are within 10% of each other. Ultimately, the Denver Papillae Protocol is used to define and prioritize the characteristics of fungiform papillae to ensure consistent counting across scorers and laboratories. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods such as the Miller and Reedy Protocol is that it reduces the subjectivity of scores when quantifying fungiform papillae. It does this through clear definition of each characteristic and through use of a dichotomous key to ensure that all structures classified as fungiform papillae meet each of the criteria. This method can help answer key questions in the taste field, such as defining the role, if any, that fungiform papillae density plays in taste perception. We first had the idea for this method when we had our citizen scientists count fungiform papillae using the Miller and Reedy method, but we noticed that the counts varied wildly for the same tongue image. Talking to the scorers revealed that they had prioritized the characteristics differently and varied on how they counted papillae that met some.